Hafa day everyone. My name is Damie Stewart. I'm a skipper with Sailors for the Sea powered by Oceana, coming to you from Guam with a green boating tip. In this video, we're gonna talk about coral reefs and anchoring. Did you know that coral reefs occur in over 100 countries and territories? Surprisingly, they only cover 0.2% of the seafloor and support at least 25% of marine species. Corals are also hugely important for coastal protection, food supply, and the economics of many coastal areas, making them one of the most valuable ecosystems on Earth. Sadly, coral reefs are at risk and declining due to a range of human activities, including pollution, unsustainable fishing practices, disease, global climate change, ship groundings, and anchoring, among other impacts. It is important we all do our part as boaters to protect these precious ecosystems. So let's talk a little bit more about anchoring. In a study conducted in the Florida Keys, 57% of shallow water reefs surveyed had signs of damage from recreational boating and anchor drops. Anchors can cause huge damage to reefs by breaking, fragmenting, and dislodging coral, resulting in injury and long-term damage to the reef. When looking to anchor in an area with coral, first and foremost, do not place your anchor on the coral. Try to avoid anchoring altogether and use mooring buoys instead. If there are no mooring buoys available, anchor in the sand beyond the edge of the reef or in a sand patch. One great method is to buoy your anchor chain. To buoy your chain, you place floats along the chain and line that are buoyant enough to keep the line off the bottom to prevent them from snagging on coral heads. This not only protects the coral in the area, but saves your line from chafing damage. Lastly, when it's time to head home, make sure you motor directly towards the anchor so you pull the anchor up vertically. But before you go, make sure you take time to take in and enjoy the wonderful beauty that our coral reefs have to offer. To learn more, pledge to be a green boater and read all our green boater tips at sailorsforthesea.org slash green tips. See you next time.